Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to the tournament today. Germany versus the UK. Basically a tale as old as time, because these guys keep slugging it out um, every single war. Whether it's land or sea. This time around it's sea. The British, 7-inch guns. Uh, potential for fire setting. The Germans, not so much potential for fire setting. But their guns are no joke. Uh, they got some really punchy guns. It's a pretty well-armored ship. Um, it's basically a jack-of-all-trades. Which is, I think, what German ships are really good at. So let's see if the Germans can finally put a stop to the UK's fire spree. Let's begin. This tournament is kindly sponsored by the Block Zone. They have all sorts of different projects to keep you busy. And I am happy that they were willing to sponsor this tournament. Now the winner is going to get the Bismarck, which is an enormous... Uh, it's not even that big. It's way bigger. It's 1.25 meters of a model. It's 7,000 pieces and change. You're going to have your hands full if you win the tournament and get this thing shipped to you. But they have tons of other stuff. They have the Nighthawk, for example. I love the, the sleek look of this thing. And the well, part of the 17 in my name is based on the Nighthawk. They have um, a range of supercars if you're into that stuff. Um, again, these are not small projects. This Neon Evo is, uh, well, not only <laughs> not cheap, but also three and a half thousand pieces. Now, speaking of the not cheap, if you add code STEALTH upon checkout, you can get 10% discount. So that saves about 20 bucks on this particular design. We'll head down to the link down below in the description, click on that, and you're going to get the 10% discount included. If not, hit the website theblockzone.com and add code STEALTH. Thank you to the Block Zone for sponsoring the project. Sorry, for sponsoring the tournament. Um, and again, if you win, you gain the Bismarck. Now, on to the video. The Empress class goes to war again. Its battlecruiser's renown, Colossus, and of course, the Empress herself. 15-inch guns. Um, very, very big battlecruiser. The biggest that we have in the tournament at 61, almost 62,000 tons. Arguably, they're 15-inch guns. Not the most dangerous thing you'll find on this ship. Because many a ship have found the 7-inch guns to be more formidable. They have a lot of range due to long barrels. Their reload is very short, only 11 seconds. And they have a lot of fire setting potential. Can these excellent German ships live up to that? Because these German ships so far have done quite well. Now their guns are 14 inches. They only have 5 inch secondary guns. And of course they got 24 3 inches. But unless they close to really short ranges, I'm not really counting those. Because that's, well, it's 12 kilometers, actually. It's not that bad. First hit on the Empress herself. Um, it looked pretty bad, 680 points of damage. But really, the Empress has lost no structural integrity. Even though that was um, a really bad hit to her secondary tower. Now, the ships, interestingly, are in a line of rest formation, which I don't think is ideal for the British ships. I really only would probably use that for the Russians and maybe the French. Although we've seen with the French that closing in generally isn't that good for those ships. So um, it's far better for them to stay at range and to maintain something like line ahead. But this is what the AI picked and this is what I'm going to stick to. The British ships currently looking about 10 to 12% accuracy depending on what ship you select. Empress is working on that reload, which is going to take her about 40 seconds. Oh, first hit on the Germans. But a ricochet at that. Now the chance from the Germans to pen should be pretty decent. Yeah, most of the deck, bow and stern belt, superstructure, they can definitely inflict some damage. The 15-inch guns from the Empress should be sufficient, especially at these ranges, to go right through the deck armor of the German ships. Thereby potentially causing flooding and crippling them. Speaking of, that went right through the deck. It's just not the German ships that are taking the hits. It's the British. And the Empress has been flooding a bit. Now, we've seen before that flooding is not where these ships do best. They have many bulkheads. They have anti-flood too. They are somewhat susceptible to taking flooding damage. And... The British seasoned crew should have no real issues dealing with that. Because they still get a 42.8% damage buff. Or damage control buff. But it is something that I have seen take down one or two British ships in the past. Ooh, another big pen there. 
Now, as I was um, looking at Dreadnoughts this morning, as I'm recording this on the 17th, the 1.4.0 patch has gone live. Thankfully, I made a full copy of the game folder. And this means I'm still able to run 1.3.9.9. .9. So, the version under which the other tournament matches have taken place. And I'm very happy that I made that copy, otherwise the tournament would have been a bit skewed. It would have been a tournament that took place partly in one version and partly in the other. And especially with this new version, potentially ooh, potentially breaking saves and breaking designs, I'm glad that I got to copy the folder over. If you happen to be running um, a campaign of your own in the future, and one new patch is coming up, then be sure to just copy the whole game folder. Just make a copy of it in your Steam folder, and that way you have it preserved. That version will not get updated. The main version will. So the version that is in your, let's say, Steam folder, um, that Steam can actually access. This one, the copy, doesn't. And that can mean that you can continue playing the campaign that you have been potentially putting a whole lot of time in. Now, damage-wise, we're pretty even. One of the German ships has decided that this would be a great time to fall back, and considering a couple of sizable holes on their bow, I kind of understand where they're coming from. The damage is 4.8k done by the Brits, 3.8k done by the Germans, so the German ships are slightly behind. Not necessarily very much, because the Empress is still fighting her own flooding. She still has a lot of issues. And it's not really looking good for her. It's three compartments right on the bow. And if it's up to the Germans, they're probably going to add a few more amidships into the stern. Which could cause Empress to start listing so much that she'll be unable to fire. When that happens, the Empress is going to be doomed. And potentially with that, Colossus and Renown as well. That's... Ooh, Ricochet right there. That didn't look good. Ah, oh, we're getting some damage in on the other German battlecruiser. This one, mostly coming under some pressure from the 7-inch guns, as the primaries still seem to be going for the crippled German ship. There you go. The Germans are coming under serious pressure here from the fire-setting capabilities of the British ships. So far, I'm seeing one of them selecting AP, but the other one's already swatched to HE. Here's another HE. And the accuracy is just ridiculous. 70, sorry, 65% with a Mark V long barrel 7-inch. Oh, more flooding on the Empress. Empress listing badly to starboard. Still able to fire her guns. With a list this badly to starboard, you'd think that her range has probably increased to something like 40 kilometers. Because she can lob shells at an even greater arc. But thankfully the game doesn't actually do that. As opposed to, I believe it was USS Texas at D-Day that did that. Intentionally flooding part of the ship, causing a bigger list and allowing the ship to hit targets farther inland. How is the German ship doing? Yeah, it's, it's several fires. But I don't think she's at risk of going extensive overwhelm yet. Though... So it's not a particularly healthy way to be sailing around. There's three more fires. That's exactly what they did not need. So far, I think the Germans are just not even using their 6-inch. Six, six? Five. Five-inch guns, secondary. Uh, on top of that, of course, they have had a couple of incidents where... And I can barely see it. Uh, where secondary guns got destroyed in some of these ships. Meaning that the secondary guns... Yeah, that's definitely secondary fire. The secondary guns might be less of a threat to the British. It seems that the British are still kind of struggling to finish off this ship. The flooding does seem to be severe, though. Buoyancy is dropping pretty quick. Which could mean that the ship is going to start listing over to starboard. And thus unable to bring those 14-inch to bear. Yeah, she's suffering quite badly. It looks like one of the secondaries got destroyed. Keep in mind that you... I don't believe you can up-armor the 3-inch gun, so anything that hits a 3-inch gun is just going to completely destroy it. Ooh, Empress. Empress is so... 
in a pretty tough spot. That list is concerning. Very concerning. 27% buoyancy. Oh boy. There's more flooding. 26% buoyancy. 2k damage on the German ship here. I think we might see a pretty sudden death on both. They might trade one ship for another. But the Germans also are suffering with this ship. And Colossus and Renown basically haven't taken any damage. I'm seeing one compartment that took a bit of damage. There's nothing serious. And the Germans are... Yeah, they're sticking to the Empress as their target. Empress, 18% buoyancy. And... Yep, that's another flooding. 17% buoyancy. They destroyed the main tower. And there's more flooding. Oh boy. Who's gonna go down first? I suspect it'll be Empress. Due to flooding. But it could be the German ship now that she's lost her main tower just as easily. Because her damage control is just bad now. Empress down to 15% buoyancy. Some damage to the main guns, but none of them have been destroyed as far as I can tell. I think this ship is pretty lucky considering the fact that the 7-inch guns from the other ships are going off on other targets. Oh, their conning tower has been damaged. There goes your accuracy. More flooding. Empress down to 15%, but holding. She's no longer flooding. How much have the 7 inches contributed? 5,000 points? Yikes. That's serious damage. From 7 inches. Have they lost any of those guns? Uh-oh. Empress is unable to fire... So the British are just waiting until they lose the Empress. Sometimes... Oh, but the Germans have actually lost their ship first. The ship has sunk. Complete buoyancy loss. That means... DPS is, I think, equalized. Empress is unable to fire, but the Germans have lost their own ship. So now it's going to be down to what do the Germans pick as their target. And I think they picked wrong. They're still taking shots at the Empress. Which means that the Empress will go down. But you're not actually losing out on any DPS there. If they'd swapped to the Colossus or the Renown. Forcing that thing to start keeling over. Then perhaps they can pull this battle back. 37% chance to hit with the mains. 21% chance with the secondaries. That's actually pretty low. I was expecting a bit more from that. Oh, this is probably the end for the Empress. 6% buoyancy. 5. It's 4. She's fighting it. The Germans can not keep up this for very long. This is taking so much damage. Have they switched to HE? Oh god, they switched to HE for the mains. Are they firing incendiary by any chance? Yeah, they are. Oh boy. There goes the Empress. She fought a good fight. She didn't do a whole lot of damage though. 2k damage. Um, 11k damage taken. That armor held up as long as it could. The crew did as much damage control as they could. But even after all this time, the ship still got taken down. This does mean that the Colossus and the Renown are now going to be taking fire. The chance to pen is looking pretty good for the Germans. They have a pretty decent chance to pen this ship. But I think the Germans are a little busy trying to figure out how to save this ship. Rather than trying to figure out how they can pen the other guy. That salvo was really wide. Look at that, it's all over the place. It will hit Renown. But I doubt it'll do a whole lot of damage. Yeah. Fairly low damage. But then again... The British are kind of allergic to getting flooded. Königsberg trying to fall back. Uh, 
How's the crew? 0.1% lost on Star. 27.5% lost on Königsberg. That's pretty bad. And over there, we find the sunk Rheingold. Crew lost on the British. 0.9. 1.4. That's not too bad. Renown is still struggling with her own flooding. And the Germans just fired at her again. Whoops. Oops. Two more floodings, I think. Königsberg. Yeah, she's coming under fire from every gun that the British seem to have. At least in range. Because they're almost in range of the three inches as well. Have the Germans been able to do anything with the secondaries? No. 153 damage just pales in comparison to se almost 7,000 points. And that's not counting fire damage. It's just the damage of the shell impacting. Uh, I think fire damage... Yeah, there's another 500 there. And how much damage did they do here? 268. So this ship has actually taken a lot more fire damage. But so far seems to be able to control that fire. And is not yet going to get overwhelmed. The fact that these guys are using standard crew quarters. And that they have lost a third of their crew. Is concerning because their damage control is now dwindling. What are you targeting? You're targeting the star. With everything. Renown? Also switch to the star. Okay. So you guys are trying to take to this down. Interesting choice. Do you not consider the Königsberg a threat? Because she is very much a threat. She has a really decent chance to pen you. Especially bow and stern. And if she keeps doing that enough, she'll flood you. You're targeting what? Renown? Yeah, you're targeting Renown. Renown has managed to clear her flooding. Of course, that doesn't pump the water back out like it did oof, many patches ago. When you can have a ship flooded up to 50-60%, so you had 40% buoyancy left. And then they activated the magic pumps, at which point you got the ship completely dry in a matter of minutes. <laughs> which was... A little bit less than credible. Uh, now it seems that the compartments, once they have taken on some water, like the one with the Renown, you're just completely unable to pump it back out. You're able to stop the flooding, like you're able to stop the bleeding, but you're just not able to fix the flooding that has been done. Like pumping the water back out. So you cannot retrieve your buoyancy, generally. And that might come as bad news to the British. That's an additional flooding on the Renown. The Germans also have some issues of flooding of their own. 87% chance to hit. You swap to the Colossus now? Bonk. Flooding. Twice. Königsberg still loading her guns. Her uh, reload has increased very slightly because she lost a bit of her crew. The fact that Renown and Colossus are still sailing broadside on does make them very susceptible to getting flooded more and more and more. The Germans, by contrast, probably not as much. Their bow and stern belt is better. The Germans... Sorry, the Brits have five and five uh, bow and stern. The Germans have six and a half and seven. And the chance to pen the Germans... Well, it's still good enough. Yep, there's more flooding on the German ship. I'm now getting really concerned about the star and her extensive fires. She's lost a bunch of her crew. There she goes. Extensive fire. So now Königsberg is in a really tough spot. Renown has once again cleared the flooding. Leaving Colossus on as the only ship that's currently flooding. I think we're going to see a British victory here. The ship is now taking both AP fire from the main guns and HE fire from the secondaries. She's still dishing out the damage. Causing... Ooh. Underwhelming damage here. Have the three inches actually contributed something now? Yeah, they have. The three inches have done actually more than the German five inches. And especially considering that these things also set fires... 
That's really bad news to the Germans. Good hit on the British ship. Another flooding. I think it's in the German interest to stay with armor piercing for the main shells. But I think it's academic at this point. Königsberg. <clears throat> wow, Königsberg actually coming awfully close to her sister there. Almost ramming into her sister. Look at that. Narrowly able to avoid the star. And by the looks of it, she'll sink right next to her. Because this German ship is going down. 24% structural integrity. There she goes. Right next to her sister. Yep. Yep. Dangerous, dangerous ships, these Empress class. The Empress herself has been taken down, but taking down Colossus and Renown as well proved to be a bit of a tall order for the Germans. And another one burns to dust. The Germans are no more, as the UK came too close and burned them to a crisp. Point for the UK. Um, UK looking really, really good. They only got one opponent to go through, and that's going to be the French. Um, I don't foresee any particular problems with that, because the French so far haven't exactly been performing that well. First up, though, um, a match between the very odd design of the Japanese and the Chinese. It's going to be the Wang class, or the Wong class, or whatever you want to call it. Um, overall roster, the UK, three wins, and the Austro-Hungarians on the other side, also three wins. So, it really shows the Firebug meta. Um... I think it needs to change. I haven't played 1.4.0 yet, so I don't know if they changed it there. I hope they did, because it's just too easy to burn things down. That needs to change. Armor piercing needs to be made better. Um, other shells need to be made more feasible, or HE just needs to get nerfed. Ships just burn too quickly, too easily, too fast. So fast that damage control players can't keep up. Anyway, first matchup next, Japan versus China. Not firebug oriented ships, so hopefully not an issue there. Thank you guys for joining this one. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon for the next.